Hey, this is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, I want to show you how to create a dynamic handlebars layout template. And this template will be reused for all the views that you render from the route handlers, so you don't need to create navigation and recreate it within every view on your website. All right, let's jump right into the code. I'm using the Future Flick Starter Kit. It's an application that you will build within the Learn Happy Learning Path. I will get back to that in, uh, at the end of this video. For now, let's look at the server.views configuration for your Happy Server. You can see that I've already registered the Vision plugin and now that it's successfully registered, you need to create the individual configuration for the Views Configuration Manager. And what you need to do now is to specify the configuration for the layout. I've created two default layouts which are located within the public views folder and then within the subdirectory layout. And there you see I have a layouts file. It's called layout HPS, it's a handlebars file. And there you can see as an import for the Bulma. CSS framework and font awesome and the Rubik font from Google fonts and our custom styling which is located in the style.css. And then down here you can see that there is a navigation on the left side is the future flix um, wording also on the left side on the left side of the navigation there is a future flix logo and name in the center you can see there is a navigation with three links and on the right side where is it? It's here. It's either a profile link or it's a sign up and login. So down here, we want to put all the content that gets rendered from the view. And let's look at a specific route handler. And it's the base route handler for the index route with just running or visiting the start page. You can see that it renders a view called index. And within the index, we want to render, let me go down, we want to render a hero image that has a large background with some kind of shadow. And we have an additional hero, which contains all the navigation again, because we actually want to use it on the hero. And there you can see is the layout for the hero, which is again, the header, and we want to put the content down here. Okay, the first thing is going back to the server configuration. No, the first thing is let's look how the page looks at this point before configuring anything. Okay, let's go to iTerm and where are we now? We are in the feature click starter kit. And from here we use supervisor. Now let me just start it with supervisor and we will restart the server or the entry point for the future flick server um, on any change on HPS files or on JS files. So if we edit anything in the application, the server starts restarts automatically and everything will be propagated to the browser so we can refresh immediately. Okay, let's go to Chrome and Let's visit localhost. Okay, so the current view is kind of what we expect. The index file gets rendered. You can see that we have the hero image, we have a navigation, and down here we have a greeting like welcome to Future Flix, and then there are six images for TV shows. So in Chrome, you can see there's a <laughs> The name, here are the links, the movies, TV shows, and this cover. Sign up and login, it's very light, but down here there are the images for all these series. Okay, it doesn't look nice, so let's configure it to view properly. The first thing to configure the default layout is to create a layout path where all your default layouts are located. So I've already created a variable that locates and points to the views folder in the public folder. Let me show you again, it's public views. So 
this variable points to this location and we want this path for the layout to resolve to the views path and into the layouts folder. Okay, so now that Happy knows where to look for. And the next thing is to define the default layout and it's the layout.hps. That's what we want by default. It has a navigation on top and below that there's all the content that needs to be put in. Okay, let me check if server is still running. Yep, and let's go to Chrome and reload our page. Okay, you can now see that the default layout is used from Happy, but the actual reply view within the route handler is completely ignored. So why is that the case? Because within the, no, let me open the layouts file. We will render this view and Happy wants to put the content from the rendered index file into this defined layout HPS, but it doesn't know where to put the content. So we have to place the content placeholder in here and we want everything from the views to be inserted here in this placeholder. And you need to name it content. There's a configuration object for that, but we don't want to specify it. We want to name it content because it makes really clear that the website's content from the views will be put in here in this place. Okay, let's refresh it again. And there you go. Now our index page is rendered properly and it's imported into this part of the website. So the problem with that is we are having a duplicated navigation because we are importing it twice. When visiting any other view, like the movies link, it's not implemented, so it redirects us to the 404 page. And you can see that the default layout is a layout with a navigation at the top. It has some kind of shadow for the navigation and there's a white background where the content is placed in here. So for the start page, we don't want this outer navigation to render and we want to use another default layout. And let's jump back to the hero layout, which doesn't have any additional navigation defined. So we need to extend it again with the content placeholder. And now we need to specify within the route that Happy knows it wants to render the hero layout for for this specific route. Okay, and within the previous video you have seen how to use multiple base layouts and that's how you go. So let's refresh Chrome and see if everything is fine. All right, that's what we want. We want the huge background and hero area on the start page. This greeting is kind of general. We will change it later. But for now, that's what we want. The default navigation for the start page and the hero navigation is taken from the index page and the outer layout is gone because now the hero layout, let me show you, just defines the content placeholder. Okay, and let me show you that the other sites are still working and here you see that the layouts file will be taken which we defined as a default for our general handlebars layout. So, yeah, let us review what you have learned. Within the layouts file, you need to find an area where you want to put the content that is rendered from the individual views of your routes. Because you don't want to have an index view with the navigation and the footer at the bottom, you don't want to have a 404 route navigation at the top and footer at the bottom. You want a default layout that gets used and reused throughout your application and then imported for every view that you're rendering. So you just put your actual content into a given placeholder and from there you can go and show the website on the client side browser. Okay, the important thing is you need to place a content placeholder in here and make sure it has three curly brackets so the handlebars doesn't escape any HTML part. And within this, if you have multiple base layouts, you need to put this part in every layout where you want to put the actual content. And 
on the server configuration for your views. Make sure you have the layout path set to a folder where the layouts are located and to define a default layout and you can use a string to define that. All right. For the next tutorials, we will have a look at partials because now you may have seen that we have this header part is the same within our layouts and the navigation has the same links like in the center is movies, TV shows and discover and login, sign up on the right side. And we will use partial views for that and we can define it here as well. So let's remove layout. We did that. Now the next part is partials and you don't want to miss out on that. So check in again. We hope if you like this video, if you do, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel. Yeah, you know, I mean, you don't want to miss out the partials and help us part on this little handlebar series. And the Future Flix Starter Kit is available on GitHub. You can find it on the link that is now shown in the screen. And it's also linked in the description below. It's a sample application that you will build throughout the Learn Happy learning path. It's a Netflix-like streaming application that contains a lot of functionality that in is included in actual real-life applications. So go to learnhappy.com to get an overview of tutorials that are already included in the learning path. And we are at this point at 12 tutorials. So, and that is growing within the next couple of weeks. See you next time, you know, the partials and help us part and enjoy your day, enjoy coding and make it rock.